Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to share with you how do you find dividend stocks. So I want to talk about this. Uh, and before I do that, I'm just going to uh, give you a quick update of my portfolio. So I recently bought more uh, shares of um, Chevron, about 250. And the reason I did that is because they have a good um, dividends at 5.76%. And, um, and I don't think uh, the stock price is, um, it, it, might, it might go down, it might go up, but I don't think it's going to be a major drop to the point where I'm going to be losing money. And the main reason is the I invest I bought more shares is because they have a good yield right now and they're also consistently increasing their uh, dividend yield despite what's going on in the in the world with the uh, with the pandemic and then the second stock I uh, I bought more of is uh, oh uh, real uh, realty income corporation also about $200, $250 worth. And then the reason I also did this is because this is a great company. And then they have a really good yield right now. And then they also um, increase their dividends. Um, they have a long history of increasing their dividends. So this is uh, a long-term investment. Okay, uh, going back to... How, so how do you find dividend stocks that are um, really good for the long term? Uh, the way you can do that is you can go to um, dividend aristocrats list. And these are pretty much companies that have consec cons that have 25 plus years conse consecutively years of dividend increase. So these are companies that are consistently increasing their dividends and that are um, considered safe. Very conservative companies, pretty much. And then this this is kind of showing your their performance going back to 2011. They're slightly beating the S&P. So it's slightly beating the market, which is a good sign. And then another thing I want to talk about is um, you can also go to this website and you can uh, uh, you can uh, make a portfolio depending on uh, uh, the sectors. Also, they uh, they have them broken up in sectors of the companies that have consistently been increasing their dividends, and this is a good way of picking uh, stocks when you're uh, making a new portfolio if you don't want to do uh, too much research and uh, the only thing uh, you want to know is uh, in terms of long term if you're gonna get better return on your money so you can keep scrolling down on this website and it shows you with industrial healthcare consumers financials materials energy and uh, it shows you uh, sector by sector and uh, you can also go to the company and just look at their balance sheet and their debt and everything. But this is a good way of uh, looking at companies and seeing whether you want to uh, invest in them. But uh, this is a very simple way of doing it because the major decision you know, you're going to go off is are they increasing their dividends, which usually means are they having uh, consistent profits? Which uh, to be able to increase your dividends, usually you need uh, consistent profits. And that is all I got for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.